Hey YouTubers, Scooby Doo here with another video. And I got Casper with me. Hey buddy. What to do on this video? Well, let's see. What was I going to talk about? Oh, uh, hey, I've got more subscribers, which is really cool. I just wish I knew why some of the people were subscribing. Is it for my hero wall, my movie room, Star Wars, Back to the Future? Or just my great personality? I'm not sure. That'd be great if people could leave notes if you ever subscribe, like like a video while, while you subscribe. That way I know uh, why you did it. Other than just being crazy, I guess. Just another look at my home theater movie room. Getting so close to having everything finished. I think this weekend I was looking through my movies here. It's my Toy Story stuff down there. I, I had the Toy Story stuff here because a lot of the things in my movie room, people can touch and look at, and I wouldn't necessarily say play with, but they can touch it and look at it and stuff, and I really don't have anything if like little kids come over, so I tell them, hey, don't touch any of the Star Wars stuff, but go ahead and knock yourself out on the Toy Story items. Uh, I was looking through my uh, movies, and I think I'm going to watch uh, Nightmare Before Christmas in 3D. I haven't watched that yet. I have the movie, but for some reason I haven't watched it. And with all my 3D movies that I play on this Mitsubishi 72-inch TV, they're awesome. Absolutely awesome. I got like six pairs of glasses. I have people over. We all watch it. And yeah, it's 3D. If you noticed here, um, what does that look like? That's my uh, repop of the Luke Skywalker from Bespin. I got the head. I haven't actually got the figure yet. Now this is a, a remake of the head from the actual uh, collector edition two set that they came out with from Sideshow or Hot Toys. I say Sideshow, but it's Sideshow Hot Toys. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. So that's him. I'll go over him more in detail when I actually get the uh, figure. But I uh, wanted to show you today what I got. In the mail. My Hot Toys. There we go. I said it right. My Hot Toys. Set of two Stormtroopers. Come in a really nice box. And it's kind of funny because I'm always making fun of other people that like do reviews and they go over the box. And they talk about it for like 10 minutes. Well, you know what? The box is actually kind of nice. But anyways, here's the two Stormtroopers. If you notice, one's a little bit bigger than the other. Now, I went ahead and named them. Because now, I'm not sure if Stormtroopers actually have names or not. I'm sure they do, I guess. Uh, but since I always say, like, hi to R2, and I'll say hi to Yoda, and when I get the Chewbacca, I'll say hi to him. Um, I didn't want to say, hi, Stormtroopers. So, I named the two. The uh, short one, his name is Sebastian. And the top one, his name is Leroy. I don't know why, they're just those two names sounded funny to me. Sebastian and Leroy. So there we go. <laughs> Say hi, Sebastian and Leroy. All right, this is actually, too, my first set of Hot Toys figures that I got. And I got to tell you, they're really detailed and really cool. The only thing I did notice with this, and if you're going to start collecting these, and... Uh, I kind of always wonder why sometimes when they're doing the reviews, they're holding them like in white gloves and everything. They are a little bit on the delicate side. You gotta have to be careful, especially if you pay as much money as I did for these things. Because already on the holsters over here, if you can see, my camera is just, I don't know, it doesn't have an autofocus. I'm not sure why it doesn't. It should. Uh, the the side holster here has a little magnetic thing that holds that clips the uh, blaster in place. See, it just kind of like went back together in there. See, it's off and then it magnetizes back on. The magnet fell off of this one. So I literally had it out of the box for like two minutes. So I'm going to have to figure a way to glue that back on. I'm going to need some tweezers or something and get in there to fix that. But there are the two figures, really cool. I paid $3.99 for them uh, at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, I messed up the last time I said that. Big Bad Toy Store. 
for $3.99. I think that's what the retail price was for them when they came out. I did go back and check on eBay like months ago and it looks like you could, the, a couple of them sold for like $3.80, $3.75, but most of all the ones now that are going and selling, they're in the high 400s and 500s, so I guess they're already starting to go up in value. Uh, but you can still actually buy them at, at the Big Bad Toy Store. But now they're not $3.99. I guess I was the last person to get one at $3.99. Now they're $4.39. So if you want to get one, I guess get one soon. That's another reason why I started ordering all those other hot toys. The On Solo and the Darth Vader and all the other ones. Because I don't want to pay the extra money. And that was one thing with, um, with my wall beforehand. Was I got everything like really good deals. Just gonna try to open this up. This doesn't have an open flap on it. Uh, hold on a second. I'm gonna put the phone down really quickly because I'm gonna run this all in one video. So I'm gonna just set this down really quick so I can pull the uh, top off. Hold on. Kind of elevator music. There we go. Got that off. And it has like this inside cover you pull off. And they pack it really good. I mean, they put like extra plastic on the legs and foam on there so it doesn't get scratched up. But you get a whole bunch of hands. You get a whole bunch of uh, guns and stuff. And you know what? One thing I didn't notice when I, I'm going to have to check this after the fact. I'm not going to do it on this video. But uh, it's supposed to have a little droid. I think I did see the droid in here, but I'm going to double check. Also it comes with the thermal detonators. They, they go on the back of uh, the Stormtrooper. Hmm. Did I see that mouse droid? It's supposed to come with the mouse droid and damn it, I, it better be in here. I'm sure I saw it in here. I put it back together. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. I'm definitely going to check that and I'll, and I'll bring that up on the next video because that's going to be part of my diorama that I'm going to make. Hmm. Well, there it is. If you have any questions or comments about Sebastian or Leroy, leave them down below. If you decide to subscribe, tell me why you subscribed. If you want, I guess. And that's about it for this video. It's running kind of long. It's already seven and a half minutes. Um, did get my final things ordered for my Back to the Future room. So that should be completed in a couple weeks. I'm wondering now if I should just wait and see if I can time the completion to exactly October 21st. Because that's the, I guess, the day that he goes Back to the Future to 2015. Wouldn't that be interesting or weird if I actually finished it on October 21st, not meaning to do so, just by a coincidence that I do that? Hmm, very odd. Here's one other coincidence. Did you know that Marty, and I'm focusing on Star Wars stuff, but, but Marty from Back to the Future in 2015, you know what his age was? 47. Guess what Scooby's age is? 47. Wow, I just blew my own mind. All right, there we go. Questions or comments, leave them down below. Remember, I got a bunch of other stuff coming up, and I'll probably do some other reviews on this later. It's just I want to make dinner, and I got some other stuff to do. I just wanted to put this up really quickly. Say goodbye, guys. Goodbye.